Hey, good morning. Brad Smith here from The Way. Hopefully everybody's having a wonderful week. Uh, hopefully you're studying the book of Jude along with us as we begin our new sermon series this weekend that we've entitled Kept. And so, hey, Merry Christmas. Officially, it is the Christmas season. And I know some people have different thoughts about Christmas. But personally, I love Christmas. I do. I, I absolutely love this time of the year. And, and it's based upon traditions and rituals. And I'm a sem- sentimental uh, dude, I just I love the sentimentality of Christmas, and just because something's not in the Bible, that doesn't necessarily mean it's unbiblical. Uh, so tradition is not necessarily bad. It's when tradition masquerades as biblical practice that's when you start having an issue. And so I love the I love this time of the year. Now, when a lot of when I think about Christmas, and I've been thinking about Christmas this week, uh, one word that comes to mind is pressure pressure, that a lot of people feel a lot of pressure during this time of year. I just read an article that 25% of Americans are still in debt from Christmas last year. Think about that. Maybe you're one of them. 25% of Christians, and so we're so enslaved to consumerism and stuff, and maybe even to our children and providing them with stuff that uh, we're still in debt from last year as we're trying to do the same thing again this year and uh, and so there's pressure but even as a Christian once I became a Christian and, and I've gradually uh, shaken off that yoke and I think I have it pretty well sh- shooken off there's an additional kind of pressure that I felt as a Christian when it comes to Christmas and that is this pressure to get Christmas quote unquote right you know I got to get it right it's an opportunity for me I got to I got to read the advent calendar every day I got to do advent with my kids I got to read the advent the christmas message to them every day and and I got to get christmas right and a couple years ago uh, early in our christian walk as an effort to get christmas right uh, we began to say hey we need to serve we need to find places to volunteer as our family uh, with our family to serve around christmas time and hey, that was, it was good. And so we worked at the Salvation Army. We did some other things. But I was struck by the ridiculousness of it at some point in time. We were at a, a large church who does a Christmas meal. And I was literally waiting in line with about 30 other people to take a single plate of food and to give it to, and to t- take it to a table where a needy person would eat it. And that was the extent of my, uh, of my service, so to speak. And it struck me that if we're walking the Christian walk, if we're living the Christian life, then then that shouldn't necessarily change, so to speak, during Christmas. We should walk the Christian walk to its fullest at all times. If we have to surge during the holidays to you know up our spiritual game, so to speak, then that's an issue with our Christian walk. And so I was struck by that notion, by that idea that we ought to be walking in a certain way all the time. And so, hey, at The Way this year, we're going to seek to take the pressure off of Christmas. And we are going to worship and teach. We're going to worship the Lord and teach the Word of the Lord the same way that we always do. And we may sing some Christmas songs, uh, which many of them are awesome and full of deep theological truth. Uh, But we are going to preach the Word of God just like we always do. And initially, I entitled this a non-Christmas Christmas series. But instead, as we've gotten into the Word, we've entitled it Kept. So we're going to be studying through the book of Jude leading up to Christmas. And who knows, the book of Jude may actually have a Christmas, quote-unquote, message in it. And so, hey, I encourage you to read and study along with us as we are in literally Jude verse 1 this week. We're going to be in verse 1 as we talk about what we are being kept from. And we're going to spend some more time in the middle verses of the book of Jude. So hey, if you're in Clarksville this weekend, come see us at The Way as we start our new series, Kept. Uh, Otherwise, find a good church and get there, have some fellowship, worship the Lord, and, uh, and hopefully be fed the Word of God. And if you are a man, if you're a man, do your duty and lead your family to church this weekend. So hey, have a great weekend. God bless.